So here we're going to take a look at doing some retopology using some of the new tools in 3ds Max and 3ds Max Design. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Conform tool. Here's our model that we're working on. You can see it's a pretty, it's a legacy piece of geometry that we need to update into quads. It's a, it's a heavily triangulated model, and it's fairly low res. We need to up res it, and we need to basically retopologize it. So we're going to be looking at some of the topology tools. So. Let me go ahead and exit isolation mode. And you can see I've already uh, completed pretty much a, a proxy model um, over top of the surface of this. And, but it's a very loose, what I call a loose fitting model in that the geometry, although it mimics the volume, doesn't necessarily represent the form. So we're going to be taking a look at two different tools here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my graphite modeling tools. And you can see that a lot of the uh, interface has been refreshed with new icons and things like that to make it look a little easier to work with. We're going to be looking at the freeform tools to start. Um, I've already set it up so that we're actually drawing on the surface underneath it. So, for example, I have draw on surface and I have the bottom surface selected. And what this is going to allow us to do is allow us to paint directly on our volume here and it will conform to the surface underneath it so we have some new tools here called conform and we have several different tools we have move uh, rotate and scale the topology and relax the topology but we'll, we'll come to those in a minute but the main tool here is the conform tool so i'll go ahead and open this up and i'll set my strength value about 15. i will set my offset to be about one our fall off and and full strength are right there those are of course controlled you know with the mouse at, at regularly so we can just begin painting and what's happening now is i'm actually painting this topology right on top of our underlying topology so as i paint on the arms as i paint on the back you can see i'll open up the strength a little bit i can really kind of accelerate this process a little bit and we can see that the form is beginning to take place on our on our volume here as we get closer now once we get a little bit closer to the volume that we need it to be i'll probably go ahead in and add some topology so i'll go underneath here and you can see that the conform tool is really adhering to the underlying surface quite well now that we have uh, some of our conformed geometry on there we can use some of the other conform tools so for example i can use relax and what i can do is i can relax the geometry uh, just like the relax tool, the other relax tool in freeform mode, but the difference here is it's conforming to the underlying surface. So as I go around, it'll conform to that, and it'll just allow me, again, to consider the underlying geometry and conform, uh, or in this case, relax the conform to that geometry. We can also scale some of our, our geometry, so I'll just kind of adjust some of the scale up here in the pinching. Perhaps we, you know, we, if we need to rotate, we, we can rotate the geometry as well to adjust some of it, or maybe adjust some of the rotation of the topology uh, in the arm area. And if we need to move it as well, we can do that. And you can see I've moved it around a little bit. So we'll just pop in and get our relax tool and relax all the geometry back into there. That's the main conform tool. There are a couple of other interesting things that we can do with conform, and that has to do with over here on the legs. The conform tools work really well when we actually have to extend geometry and continue the topology process. So I'm going to be using another feature here called extend. Extend isn't new to 2011. It was actually in 2010. It's one of my uh, most favorite underrated tools, uh, and you'll see why here in a minute. So again, just to remind you, I have surface selected, and I'm, I'm using the underlying surface as my template, and I'm going to go ahead and use the extend tool. Now with extend, if I just hold down the if I just drag a polygon, this allows me to drag polygons directly on the, onto that underlying surface. But I don't want to do grow. I don't want to grow that ring one polygon at a time. I actually want to continue the topology with the entire ring. So using Control and Alt, I can just continue to grow the topology down. Now you'll see once it starts to hit the bend in the leg, the geometry kind of, kind of spreads out a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do that again and I'll just keep doing it. So we're a little farther down the process a little bit. You can see I've started to round the corner here on the inside of the ankle. So I'll go ahead and just kind of use relax a little bit here. And then I'll use my conform move. This allows me to do transform adjustments based 
on the underlying topology. And I can fix that. Now we also probably need to start rotating the topology to start coming around the back of the ankle there. So I'm going to increase the size a little bit. And I can start rotating. And I'll go ahead and move. I'll move this up. And you can see that I'm, you know, again, basically just sculpting around, sculpting around the model, around the underlying model, that is. And I'll use Relax to kind of clean it up. So I've jumped ahead to show the final model here. And you can see that using this workflow of extend and conform, we're able to quickly retopologize a model from a fairly unusable topology to one that's um, more suited for our needs. Now at this point, we can either unwrap this model and texture it um, using some of the new peel commands or uh, some other form of UVW unwrapping, or we can send this model over to Mudbox for uh, more geometry addition, some more sculpting, that sort of thing. So for 3ds Max or 3ds Max design, conform workflows are valuable tools for retopologizing geometry.